morning, everyone. Seriously, wow. I've been trying to pull out this camera and vlog literally for the last 10 minutes. And every time I do, here comes a car. Realize I am at work, so people are coming in, but it's like I'm parked off to the side, like out of the way, but still, cars wanna park right next to me. Okay, he can hurry up now. So anyway, um, didn't vlog, a, I didn't vlog at all last night after I told you guys about the record player. I fell asleep, honestly, about eight o'clock, and that was all she wrote, you guys. I am like mentally spent. I was so tired. I have to go in for about 15 minutes, so. Um, I'll tell you guys how work is going a little bit later. It's kind of like a lengthy story. Nothing to complain about. It's just some work drama, but I can tell you guys this. Um, and then, y'all, oh, I cannot wait to tell you this drama about UEI College. Thank God I'm not there anymore. There's a lot of stuff going on there. I've had students text me since I left here and there. Oh, Miss Rogers, come back. We miss you. Things aren't the same and whatever. And I'm like, there's a lot of good teachers there. And everyone is not going to teach the same. So that's what I was trying to tell the students. And I look like that because a coworker looked at me like, what are you doing? Mind your business, stay out this car. But this one here that I said just did that she's very nosy anyway because I'll be talking to another co-worker or I just see other people talking and not to her and she'll stop what she's doing and look at them like what's going on so that's just her nature but still it's like mind your business keep on going anyway so what was I saying about the students yeah so they um have been texting whatever so one text yesterday and spilled the beans and oh my goodness I cannot wait to tell you guys it is some tea wow I wish you could see the people involved so you can know what I'm talking about but not really see them if that makes any sense Make sure I save the thread so I can refer back to it when I tell you guys in case I forget to tell you guys something yeah so i am on my lunch break and there's cars around but everyone is inside the building so i will try to tell you guys this story without looking so animated that way they won't think i'm talking to myself i don't mind vlogging when i'm out with my kids but when i'm by myself i get so many weird looks that's why i don't vlog a lot when it's just me i'm going to tell you guys what's going on at my job now it's actually not going on now this portion of it there is office drama i'll tell you guys a little bit about that later once i know a little bit more because everything now is just hearsay and there's always going to be office drama and i'm not complaining about my job my job is fairly easy the day that i started another girl started as well so it was two of us and she seemed really quiet and not too friendly. And I'm like, okay, I'm reserved when I first meet people. If you guys ever met me, you guys would probably have to carry the conversation for a little while because I am shy, believe it or not. I don't talk a lot when I don't know people, believe it or not. And that's just my personality. So I'm thinking, okay, no big deal. Not everyone's bubbly and hi, nice to meet you, whatever like that, because I'm not. As time went on, I would say good morning to her and she would barely speak. And I'm like, why doesn't she like me? And not everyone has to like you or anything like that. But I'm like, what did I do to her? But I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I'm one of the people that, you know how you meet somebody or you see somebody or you know somebody and you don't know why you don't like them. You just don't like them. And I'm thinking, well, maybe that's the case. Whatever. As long as we're professional, she doesn't have to like me. Let's just get along. So come to find out later on it wasn't just me she had the same attitude with everyone that's on the team she would leave to go on break anytime she wanted to leave her desk and not that you can't leave your desk pretty much stay to herself which we do work independently which is awesome but in the beginning we're shadowing so we're supposed to be learning and then go do what we learned right so she wasn't really doing that and in the meantime she was having attitude with not just me the other staff members and it's funny because her and I I think on the second day the manager bought us in her office and she said oh I just want to give you both like an 
overview of what the company expects of you and your job duties this and that I'm like okay no big deal so she's going over that but then I realized the real reason why she called us in there okay let me back up so before the manager called us in there I was shadowing another co-worker and the other new girl she was at her cubicle on her phone not listen to music or anything like that she was talking to somebody and yes she was talking really low not loud or anything like that but come on now this is your second day on the job and you're already on your phone so her and I we just looked at each other and shook our head and just you know kept on going I'm like that is not me I'm just gonna mind my business whatever so that was that the manager called us in and she's going over company policies and stuff like that and then she gets to the part where I feel that she really called us in there for she said so you're not allowed to have your phones out on the floor which I don't think is true because there's other co-workers that I do see on their phones but I'm not trying to be like them because I'm new there and I'm not trying to get written up or fired or anything like that so that's their business out on the floor if you need to get up and excuse yourself and go outside and take a phone call or go in a break room you know we don't mind you doing that at all but just don't be on your phone at your desk and I'm like wow this girl done got me sucked into this and this wasn't even on me you know so that was that and but she continued to do whatever she wanted right and I'm like girl you are she had to be in her 30s so she's old enough to know better so time goes on she's still having an attitude and there was one day where she called in sick and I'm thinking I'm like okay it's best that you come in sick and they send you home like they did me instead of you calling in and whatever but once again not my business she continued with the attitude and the day that she called in sick we have daily huddles so the manager she was telling us that she did talk to her about her attitude so hopefully when she comes back her attitude would be better or whatever when she came back her attitude wasn't better it was actually worse i would come in in the mornings and say good morning and she wouldn't say anything when i know she clearly heard me so it's whatever there was one day that she was talking to the other girl who was sitting next to her and i didn't hear the whole conversation because i'm across from them but all i heard was you didn't even have to say that and i don't know why you told and i don't even know what the whole conversation was about I wasn't about to get in it because not my business. I don't get into drama. I am drama free. I don't like surrounding myself in people that like drama and stuff like that. That's the reason why I stay away from a lot of the members of my family because I don't do drama. And the ones who you guys do see on my channel, like on a regular basis, those are not the ones who create drama. So all of a sudden, oh, let me go back a little bit also. So remember I told you guys how she would get up and do whatever she want to do, take breaks whenever she want to take breaks, take multiple breaks whenever she wanted to, go on lunch whenever she wanted to. And I'm like, I don't know why she wasn't gone within the first week. Once again, not my business. There was one day where she had gotten fed up over something, I don't know, and she grabbed her stuff and she said, I'm done, and she walked out. And I'm thinking she going to lunch. She never came back that day. Y'all, we had three hours of work left. So that was that. And the day all this happened where she got in an argument with another co-worker, she grabbed her stuff again and walked out. And she didn't even return that day. So the other co-worker, she went to talk to HR about it or whatever. And she came back and she had a smirk on her face. And mind you, some of the women on the team are petty they are so that's why I'm so quiet I am in my own little world I don't even want to be associated with how they are that's their business I'm not involved in that so like I said that is a story for another time y'all I just want to tell you the story what I having to turn the camera off every five seconds I should park behind the building or somewhere where I don't have to be around anyone what was I saying the co-worker who went tell HR about the new girl not me, the other new girl. Um, she wasn't there that day. So I get in that morning and I had an email from HR and she said the girl who started the same day I did, she won't be returning to work. And I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe she quit because when she walked out before, 
they didn't stop her they sh they let her come back or whatever so i'm thinking okay well maybe she quit good you know don't need the bad attitude there and then i found out later that they actually let her go so there's a protocol um at all companies or whatever when you're fired you're supposed to get your check right away i don't know how they handle that not my business but she didn't have her stuff she brought things up for her desk like lotion and just stuff that she bought pictures and whatever to put on her desk right so when something happens like that you are supposed to call and someone's supposed to walk you to your desk so you can get your things and walk you out that's just the company rules what i found out later she came in and y'all she looked like she was ready for a fight she had a do-rag on she had on leggings tennis shoes and just the way she was dressed she looked like she was dressed for a fight she sat down i didn't even say anything to her because i'm like you you know are rude to everyone i've never done anything to you but try to say good morning and whatever so i didn't say anything to her she grabbed her stuff and walked out and i looked up at another co-worker and we just started laughing and she said what is she get and I said well she got her pictures and her lotion and whatever else she bought for her desk and walked out so I'm thinking good thing that the girl who she had had the argument with she wasn't there because who knows what she would have tried to do I don't know if she would try would have tried to fight her or whatever the case may have been I don't know but good thing she wasn't there so we did have a, another lady start on Monday this week today's Wednesday I don't know if I told you guys that and she seems really really good she knows a lot a whole lot more than me she said she's been in the dental field since in the 90s and I wasn't in a dental field in the 90s so she is actually going to be the lead and you know what that's a story for another time because that office drama is just part of the pettiness that I'm staying away from and I'm not complaining, but certain members on my team are just petty and I'm not even trying to get associated with them. Anyway, like I said, story for another time. So yeah, y'all, that's crazy. Already drama and I haven't, I've been there a month. It'll be a month tomorrow. Later on, I will tell you guys what's going on at UEI College. This is something you guys wanna stick around for because it's a hot mess. Okay, so I am back home now and Shine and Savannah actually went to, I think it's Blaze Pizza, not Blast, is there a Blast Pizza? Blaze? I think it's Blaze. I don't know. Anyway, to pick up something for dinner and I'm just sitting in my dining room. I just want to tell you guys really quick the tea from UEI College. So... Hold on, let me turn off the TV in the living room. So before I left, they did hire another instructor and I did go on the last field trip with them to the Museum of Modern or Dental, whatever. So for some reason, this instructor went with me because she didn't have her own class yet. And I think the director was just trying to get rid of her because she seen that she was weird. Anyway, we got to one point in the museum where it said something about cannabis. And she came to me and her eyes got this big. She said, I swear by CBD oil. There's so much studies and so much things going on and it helps people. And I'm so glad they made it legal. And I put two drops or three drops under my tongue every morning and it helps me with my back. I swear by it. And she was just like so in my face. Her eyes got like huge and it was just really weird and awkward. And I'm like, okay, good for you. Awesome. We're going on in a museum looking at different things. The students are asking me questions and literally like 10 minutes later, because I've tried to get away from her at this point, 10 minutes later, no, I'm serious. CBD oil. Oh my goodness. It's the best. Heard you the first time. Awesome. So that was the type of person she was and she would talk about smoking weed and all this other stuff and how it helps her. That's your business, not my business, I don't care. But she was kind of crazy with it and very, very intense. So I said that to say, I'm just gonna read you the message from one student. And oh, multiple students have been texting me, asking me to come back. That's not gonna happen. So anyway, one student texted and she said, I miss you, come back. She said, I ain't learning anything. 
and Miss So-and-so quit. It's been hecka drama. Miss So-and-so was the one that was smoking. Let's give her the name of Pat. Pat was the one that took CBD oil every morning, which like I said, it's not my business. She said, Miss Pat quit. It's been hecka drama. And I said, oh no, sorry to hear you're not learning anything. Another student told me she had quit, um, which someone did. And are they short staffed now? Okay, let's give the other two instructors names. Okay, so Pat was the one with CBD. Sarah and Betty. These are just random names. Okay, don't be telling nobody. Drama with Sarah and Betty. Okay, Pat was trying to smoke with kids after school and cuss, the S word. That lady is on drugs and everyone knows it. How's your new job? I think they hired two new teachers. And I said, okay, I won't say anything. And wow, yes, I knew something was off with her and I'm enjoying my new job. She said, I bet you are, but Sarah and Betty wanna fight each other. These are two instructors, right? She said, Betty got in trouble for having sex with the dreadhead man in HVAC. Sarah is ghetto and did you know she been to jail? And I said, yes, I knew she's been to jail. And these are two instructors, right? But I told her, I said, it's not my place to go around saying, oh, so-and-so's been to jail. So-and-so's did this, so-and-so did that. So I just said, yes, I knew that. And I said, wow, but Miss Betty really got with that guy in HVAC? No, not while she's a teacher, that's not good at all. She said, yes, and the students were passing around pictures with both of them in it, and I'm like, wow. Um, she goes on to say other stuff. I always, every time my battery flashes, I panic and I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna die. I'm like, she shouldn't have taken pictures with him. So I guess they had a big old meeting and Betty got in trouble, almost got fired because number one, it's unethical. You know, at the school, people are adults in HVAC class. They had guys in there that were 18, some in their 20s and some in their 30s. And I think they even had a guy who was in his 40s in the HVAC class. But I remember Betty, remember these names, Betty, she told me, oh, see that dude, he's trying to get at me. And you know, I couldn't do that. I have a boyfriend and he's a student. That wouldn't be right. I'm like, no, that wouldn't be right at all. You know, if you didn't have a boyfriend and then decided that you wanted to be with him after he was out of school, that's different, but it's unethical. And so she was like, no, I would never do that. So I guess she did. I guess they had a big meeting and I said, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall. And she said, I guess the two instructors, Sarah and Betty, want to fight each other. Y'all, I told y'all this school is ghetto. Didn't I tell y'all I had some tea? And then she asked me, she said, do you know why Sarah went to jail? Was it for being a hoe or a DUI? And I didn't answer her because I'm like, you know what, at this point, this conversation is done because I don't go around telling people's business. What people tell me, it's in the bolt. I don't spread gossip, I'm not one like that. But isn't that something? If you're an instructor and there's a student that is trying to hit on you, that's not okay at all. I don't know what made her think that was okay. And then take pit. The thing is, I wanna find out more, but I can't text the instructors to say me to gossip when you know I'm not there. They're gonna know the student's been contacting me and I don't wanna get the students in trouble or anything like that. But I just wanna know because I just wanna know. Yeah, and I'm sure the guy was just sharing the pictures and everything and oh my goodness, it's, it's just a mess. I can't wait till the next student text me and tell me what else is going on over there. But yeah, you guys, I just had to tell you that it's just so much drama after I left. And why would you chance losing your job over something like that? That's crazy. So the pizza is here. I can't even figure out how to open it. I'm trying to open it with one hand. Oh, that's right. Oh, it is Blaze. Ooh, did, did you remember to put the, um, it's underneath the ham. Oh, yeah, no, the some kind of drizzle. No, there was like a. So. It was like the balsamic. Oh no, I didn't. No, you forgot the balsamic. It's okay. This is still. This is so good, you guys. I love Blades Pizza. Okay, I had to change because I spilt some pizza on my clothes, 
anyway, so what was I going to tell you guys? Even though I'm disappointed about the record player, which Makari is going to give me a refund. I'm going to mail it back into the person who I bought it from. It's very disappointing, but I did call around to a few record shops to see what the problem could be, if they could fix it. And they basically told me the kind that Savannah and I have, they made them in mass production. It's the newer type and they're basically crap. Actually three different record stores told me this. So I think I'm just going to buy one on Amazon for Savannah and then for me, I'll get her hers first because um, I just will. But I'm discouraged, but I'm still getting a record player, you guys, because I still want one. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but whatever. I mean, at least I'm going to get the money back for that. And with Savannah's, we're going to try to see if if I buy another charger, it'll work. I keep calling it a charger. It's not a charger because it's not charging the record player. It's a power cord. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to try to buy a new one of those first. And if it doesn't work, then I don't know. I y'all it's so frustrating the whole thing and here i am thinking i did a good thing i don't know it's just it's just very frustrating so yeah it's disappointing but we're gonna get one so there's a brand that i found on amazon that the guy told me is actually a good brand um it runs a little over a hundred dollars newmark pt1 so guess i'll get that yeah, well, here's one that's $79, and it's like a suitcase type, so that's not bad. I don't know. I'll update you guys when I decide to do it or whatever the case may be. So, I'm bored. It's 11 o'clock. I should be asleep, not bored, but I'm watching TV, and even though I'm tired, I can't fall asleep, but if I would turn my light off... I would go to sleep. Y'all know I sleep with my TV on, so the TV won't bug me, but I need to lay down, but my mind is racing. I'm thinking about all kinds of things, and then I started, um, I don't know why, I just took a trip down memory lane, and I, let me pause this. I'm actually watching Siren on Hulu. It's a show about mermaids, so I just started that tonight. That's what I'm watching. What was I saying? Anyway, I was just looking at like our first vlog that I ever made. Oh my goodness. It was like so horrible. The quality was horrible. And yeah, um, it was more lively than it is now because the kids were all in school. They were all home and the house was loud. But now they all have different schedules and they're all grown. So... A lot of times you see me and Savannah, and that's it. In Boston here or there, so, yeah. <laughs>